Hello everyone. I just want to go over what I dose to my tank and the food that I dose to my tank. I've talked about it briefly in the past, but I've really never gone into any kind of detail. So I'm going to try to do that now in this video and try to answer any questions you might have as to what I use and how often I dose. Um, I'm going to start off the video by talking about the calcium supplement that I use. Um, right now I'm using the Aquaforest Calcium. Uh, this stuff is amazing. It mixes super easy um, and for me it lasts a long time. Um, I am mixing it in this small container. This and some others that I got from the dollar store. Super cheap and it helps me keep my sump area organized which is where I keep all this stuff on a shelf right above my sump. So it's right there and I can, I can dose every day. So I mixed it in here. It mixes right away. Um, you can usually use it within like an hour or so. It mixes really nicely. Um, I dose the Aquaforest Calcium Supplement um, every single morning right after I check the water in the sump, checking the um, evaporation level. Um, I dose about uh, 100 milliliters a day and I use this small container right here to dose every day. It's just another dollar store uh, plastic container that I got and I uh, have it marked out right here for 90 milliliters and I've been dosing slightly more lately just because my coral are growing quite a bit. I have a lot of new SPS in there um, but this is what I use for that. I also dose my alkalinity with this same container. I just rinse in between with fresh water so it won't get gunked up or anything. Um, so that's what I use for calcium. I really like it. It's a great product. It's probably going to last me like eight or nine months. It should last me a long time. I've had it for over a month now and I can't even tell that I've used any of it because I, I only use, I think, 60 grams every time that I mix. So a, a little bit definitely goes a long way with this product. Um, the next thing is my alkalinity buffer. I use the Aquaforce Cage buffer. Um, this is another awesome product. A little bit goes a long ways with this. It's really potent stuff. Um, I dose 45 milliliters daily and it keeps my alkalinity at 9. Um, it does a really good job. I see this probably lasting me at least 8 or 9 months as well. Um, super happy with this product. I store it the same way that I store my calcium. Small, cheap container from the dollar store. I mix it in here as well. It's just a, a great way for me to keep track of how much I have. So this will probably last me about three more days and it'll be time for me to mix up some more. And uh, since I dose everything by hand, it's just really easy for me to, to be able to see it in that container and see how much I have. Um, this cage buffer is really good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is how long it takes for it to mix. It usually has to sit for 24 hours, sometimes a little longer. But that's never really been an issue. As soon as I know that I'm just about ready to be out, I can mix it that night as soon as I dose. And it only takes like five minutes to put it together and start dosing. And um, then it sits overnight and usually by the next night it's ready to dose again. So it works good. Really happy with it. Um, the next thing I use is Brightwell Aquatics magnesium supplement and I do not have the container because again I keep it in this clear dollar store container because it's just easy for me to keep track of how much I use. Um, I only dose 10 milliliters a day so I foresee this lasting quite a while. Um, this was I think nine dollars on BRS for 500 milliliters so only dosing 10 a day it should last me quite a while and uh, it's just a really good value. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch to the Aquaforest uh, Magnesium or not. I probably will after this just so I can have, you know, all the same products, all the same containers and kind of keep things uniform, I guess. Um, that would be about the only reason I would change just because it, it works really good and it does a good job. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what I feed the coral. Uh, just really simple. Um, I use uh, Red Seas. Reef Energy, the new AB Plus. I used to use the A and B, the older one, where they were separate, and I used that for, I don't know, a good year or two, and it works really good. Um, same with that, I only 
feed twice a week. I know that you can feed this daily and it recommends to feed it daily, but I like to keep a really low nutrient system and um, I've never really had any kind of algae issues and um, this tank especially is super clean and I like to keep it that way really. And any of you that have been following me for any time and seen the reef, you could tell how colorful the coral are. They all look amazing. They're all super healthy and doing really good. So I don't really see a reason for me to dose more often. Um, I think they're getting plenty of nutrients with this uh, being dosed every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, usually what I do is I'll just take off the cap and fill up the cap, which I believe is around six milliliters or so, give or take. Um, and I'll, I'll dose that in. Usually shut off all my pumps except for the 240 gallon per hour that's on the right side of the tank and that's enough to circulate the food throughout the tank. Um, the next thing I dose with that is the Coral Feast. Um, I've been using this for about a year and a half now. Really good stuff. Um, same thing with the Red Sea uh, Coral Pro. Food is... Um, every Wednesday, every Saturday, I do about five or six grams of this and I'll mix it in my other little dollar store container. Uh, this is, I just put, I don't know, about three or four ounces of water in here and mix it up. I'll, sh I'll shake it around and stir it around so there's no clumps or anything so it's really liquefied and I'll dump it right into the power head and get it moved around the tank. And um, it's done really good. Any any of my SPS uh, seem to be doing great with that amount of feeding. Um, they're all super healthy and they're growing really good. They all have awesome polyp extension and uh, great color. Um, and that's it. I just keep it really simple. And I never test for anything in the tank except for calcium alkalinity and magnesium, everything else is kind of what it is. I've never tested for nitrates or phosphates or anything like that since the tank cycled. Um, this tank was an upgrade from my 20 gallon, which I had set up for almost four years. Um, and ever since it was set up, it's been really clean. Um, I try not to chase numbers too much besides the ones that really matter, in my opinion, the calcium, alkalinity and magnesium ones uh, the coral really need to grow keeping a low nutrient system only feeding my fish once a day and they're all fat and happy um, has just really helped keep the reef clean and uh, growing really nicely um, I plan on using all these same products for a long time they're all doing a really good job and I'm super happy with the value that I've gotten out of all of them and um, See, no, no reason in the future to change anything. My corals seem to be super happy with the food and uh, the dosing products that I've been using. Um, that's basically it for this video. Um, like it. Definitely subscribe if you guys want to see more. If you guys have any more questions about uh, dosing or feeding or anything else, um, let me know. I'd definitely be happy to answer any questions you guys have about the reef. But thanks for watching, guys.